What is up everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Happy Monday, top of the morning to ya. Another start of a fresh work week. My vacation has officially come to an end. I didn't want to get out of bed today. I don't want to go to work, but I have to. I'm taking Friday off. I already figured it out. I'm going back up to Universal and Islands of Adventure with the crew. Listen, a lot to go over this morning. Put out a video late last night. I covered a couple of central banks. Woke up, saw some nasty comments. It's all good. I like those nasty comments. People said, but on page 39 in this document, it says they will not use RippleNet. Listen, they don't have to use RippleNet in order to use XRP, people. You have to look at the two key names that were listed in there. R3, which can utilize XRP and Hyperledger, which can utilize the Interledger protocol, which can utilize XRP. They do not need to directly sign up for RippleNet. I'm gonna get into this a little bit later, but just remember that. As we always do, the new thing on this channel, we pull up Fiat Leak and we look at the XRP Fiat Leak and we look at all the money moving around. Looks like we got two million XRP trading Pair is going down in the last minute. XRP is currently sitting at 62 cents. Bitcoin, on the other hand, is slowly creeping up to its all time high. As we head over to CoinMarketCap, we take a look. Bitcoin's up 3% in the last 24 hours, currently sitting at 18,758. Yesterday, before we went to bed, we made a our latest YouTube video, Bitcoin was sitting around, I believe, 18,400, so it has slowly creeped up as I've stated many times, when Bitcoin breaks its all-time high and it has tested the all-time high levels multiple times and has been denied. When Bitcoin finally breaks through 20K, it's not gonna stop, it's gonna keep going. 25 to 30,000 is what I am seeing. But the more important thing to remember here is that when Bitcoin does break the all-time high, do you know what's going to happen? The media is going to get into a frenzy. You are going to see Bitcoin all over these financial channels. What does that do? That puts the whole market on a pedestal. People are going to start coming in. New money is going to enter the market. Current market cap is at $556 billion. We need this to go a lot higher, and it will. But we have seen some new money come in. We have seen the Bitcoin dominance rise, currently sitting at 62.1%. So that is telling us money is leaving other altcoins and going into Bitcoin. And the new money that is coming into the market is heading into Bitcoin. I do believe an all-time high will be passed before the end of the year. The question is when. If you can find somebody in this space who can accurately predict a date, you let me know, because that is almost impossible. I'm saying by the end of the year, Bitcoin moons, and I say early next year, XRP destroys its all-time high. Four to six weeks after we see Bitcoin run up to 20K and way beyond 20K, we will see XRP do its thing. XRP is going to start leading the way it already has it's going to keep doing it there is no doubt about it remember this xrp is the number one digital asset people let's jump over let's get to the news talking about price from michael at val five links make sure you give him a follow live bitcoin news.com put out a little ta article going over Ripple or XRP's price analysis, they're saying that we need to get above 65 cents. If we clear 65, we're going to enter the 70 cent zone with a possible push up even higher. I firmly believe 68 cents is the key number. If we can clear 68, then we're gonna get that push up to the 80 cent to 90 cent region. Time will tell. And we jump over from a, a retweet from Pander. Ripple Pender XRP, he says, whoa, more real use cases of XRP in Japan. We are slowly starting to see Japan and SBI get on board with XRP and putting out real life use tests, use cases, excuse me. 
Bank XRP tweeted this out last night. FX Coin announced on the 30th that it will start a demonstration experiment using XRP for settlement of claims and debts between the Su Sumotomo Corporation Group companies. The outline of the demonstration is below. Here's the outline. Sumoto Corporation settles receivables and payables with group companies on trial basis using SRP. At the same time, Sumoto Corporation will carry out a future transaction with FX Coin to hedge the price fluctuations of XRP, and FX Coin will sell the applicable XRP on a specific date. This is absolutely massive news. Happy that this is finally getting going. Let them get the testing going so they can go full scale. If you head over to XRPRightNow.com, I covered this article last night. FX Coin is Simulta Corporation Experiment in Virtual Currency XRP Trading. We know SBI, 62 Banking Consortium, is all about XRP. We have heard from higher ups at SBI that if Yoshi Kakitakao got his way, that by next year, when the Olympics go down in Japan, that if you want to purchase a Pepsi, that you would be spending XRP. Very exciting to see what is going to come out of Japan in the coming years. Let's hop over to a tweet from the Wrath of Kahneman. This was from an interview with Ashish Birla on Lend Academy. Lend Academy has published a written transcript of their interview of Ripple. Ashish Birla, it's wide ranging, hitting all the notes, lending, DeFi, central bank digital currencies. But th two things stood out. First is the tally of where Ripple is in production. And Ashish Birla went on to say, with the cryptocurrency product, you can send into, I believe, three destinations around the world. We're expanding that aggressively in 2020, 2021. But the fiat only Ripple net, you know, we are in all the major currencies now. I think we're in 45 different countries, six continents, and we have payout capabilities in 70 countries. They said, wait, sorry, it's 45 countries is where we have customers. We can actually pay out in 70 countries with RippleNet altogether. Secondly, e-commerce was mentioned five to six times. Anyone could have predicted discussions of on-demand liquidity. The line of credit Ripple has developed but the repeated mention of e-commerce as a point of emphasis was surprising. How are they moving into this space? Ashish Birla did end up responding to this. He said, it's a segment area of focus, so naturally that will take more focus and attention. I believe this segment doesn't have a clear solution with regards to financial and payments solutions. So if Ripple somehow, some way, finds a way into the e-commerce space and has, and has XRP set up to bridge all of the different currencies, that will be a complete game changer. When you look at some of the bigger companies out there, your Amazons, your Ebays, they are constantly paying out in different currencies. If XRP can help bridge this, not only will these customers or these people doing business with Amazon or Ebay be able to receive money faster, they will be able to cut down on the fees and Amazon or eBay will be able to cut down on the amount of capital that they are required to hold in different countries. It is a win-win for everyone. So that is very exciting. And just XRP Crypto Wolf sent over the same thing, just talking about how Ashish Burla said that they're gonna to continue to, to expand on-demand liquidity, which is XRP. Here's the article from you today, where it jumps into RippleNet could bridge central bank digital currencies. While many are convinced that central bank digital currencies pose an, an a threat to XRP, Burla states that they have nothing to do with blockchain. RippleNet in turn could bridge CBDCs into an interoperable network. RippleNet can actually take these local CBDCs and bridge them to make move to make money move more efficient. So I think that's a very good thing for companies like Ripple. And I agree 100%. What have I been stating? XRP will bridge all of the central bank digital currencies into the world. This ties into a tweet that was put out by Martin yesterday talking about Project Aber. And I quote, this project was successful in achieving its key objectives, which include using a new DLT-based solution for real-time cross-border interbank payments between commercial banks without the need to maintain and reconcile no sure accounts. So within this Project Aber, it said that they will not be using the Ripple's network or Stella's network due to like 
privacy and concerns or something along. It's on page 39. Go read it. I tweeted out, this is Big Sur. Just covered this in a late night video. No doubt that it's going to be Ripple Net. No doubt it's going to be on demand liquidity. Crypto B Crypto TOBB said you you missed you miss you missed to see this. He was saying I didn't see this section in the document, which said the public public blockchain protocols such as Ripple and Stellar, which are offered position for cross border use cases, were ruled out because of the need for permission and privacy for interbank interbank payments. Right. I get that. But when you read the three DLT platforms or protocols that they are experimenting with, that they might use, R3 Quarter can use XRP to settle. Hyperledger, Hyperledger Fabric connects up to the Interledger, which connects up to XRP to help settle money. It's, this is just another layer on top of RippleNet at the end of the day, or another layer on top of Ripple's on-demand liquidity, or you can look at it, it's just another layer, it's the umbrella, which all these different networks connect in, but at the end of the day, if you connect into ILP, it's going to use the most efficient, fastest digital asset out there to settle cross-border payments, which is XRP. So they're not gonna directly hook up to RippleNet, it's not a big deal because you need to look at Hyperledger Fabric and look at the umbrella and look who's connecting into Hyperledger and the ILP is stands out, remember, Ripple created, or Stefan Thomas created the ILP and then gifted it to the W3C. The ILP uses any digital currency that you want, and at the end of the day, the fastest, cheapest, and the one that can scale is going to win out. This is what we call the level playing field. This is where XRP steps in and kicks the crap out of everyone. Then we hop over. To Attilo Pertillo's tweet, he it says it's very nice to see that Mas has decided to follow the UK's lead and will be and will hence follow fintechs to directly connect with the country's real-time payment systems. Every modern financial system should allow fintechs to directly connect with domestic real-time gross settlement payment systems. One thing I've been preaching on this channel for some, quite some time. We need to get all the real-time payment systems up and running. Without a real-time payment system, you will not have a real-time settlement system. So this is great. That's the Singapore, the Monetary Authority of Singapore is stepping in and they are saying we're going to take the UK's lead. We will allow fintech companies to operate. Why is this important? Because I date back to an article from Cointelegraph early this year in March. The Monetary Authority of Singapore exempted a number of crypto payment services from holding a financial license under the Payment Service Act. Well, guess which one of those companies was given the free pass? Yes, Ripple people. Ripple was granted the free pass. This is huge to see. And then we had over XRP Crypto Wolf puts out Binance Futures will launch XRP. LTC, EOS, BCH, quarterly coin margin contracts with up to 75x leverage. Now, I don't recommend anyone does the 75x leverage trade. They're just looking to take your money. But XRP will be listed to the USD. This is exciting. Binance also just listed, I believe it was last week, two new XRP pairs to the Nigerian Fiat, I forget the name, and to the Brazilian Peso. Absolutely massive. It seems like Binance is getting on the XRP train. That is what we want to see. All right, people, we head back over to Fiat Lake, see what's going on. XRP is still kind of flat, just sitting at 62 and a half cents. As I said, let's keep our eyes on Bitcoin. Let's see what Bitcoin does. Bitcoin is slowly creeping up to the all time high. We need Bitcoin to break the all time high. Once that happens, is when the market starts to go. That's when the media gets in. That's when the hype gets going crazy. Good times, good times. Well, that's going to do it for me. Tonight, we have the XRP monthly close. I will be back with another video later tonight going over the monthly close, talking about new price targets, where I think we're going. Everything is looking good right now. I do believe we're going to test that 70 cent range very soon. Keep your eyes open. Let's see what goes down. 
Wash your damn hands. Enjoy your week. Hopefully everyone has a great day at work. Like and subscribe to the channel. Ripple Van Winkle is out.